All right, so I don't know some of you guys have seen these videos where people put tire jack in their tires and they claim how great it is. Uh, if you have any doubts, I'll I'll just be honest with you. It's they work. It works great. It works fantastically well. And uh, so I've used it in small, like, you know, four-wheeler tires, stuff like that. Just amazingly. Just does great with those. We have a lot of cactus and, you know, rocks and stuff like that. So ours are always getting torn up and going flat. Uh, but I bought this stuff for this loader. And I'll tell you why. You know, this isn't... I'm... 50 miles from the only tire shop that'll even touch these tires and when I first bought this loader this one was going down kept going down so I had them go out and they just said it was the o-ring around the edge they just replaced the o-ring put it on didn't fix anything uh, it was $200 bill and you know that I've surprised it wasn't $400 but it was $200 service charge just to come out and replace that o-ring and you know this loader runs here every day I try you know I call them out they you know they did what they could but they couldn't fix it so we we messed around with this thing for like a year and we'd have to air up these tires once a week they start getting soft and then uh, finally I just I've used this tire jack before and I mean it works fantastic on other tires. I'm like, well, I'll throw a gallon in one of these tires and see if it, you know, didn't run around enough and find that spot. And it did. It it found like we did this tire probably two months ago. Haven't had to touch it since. And so I've got two tires, the this one and this one on the same side were always leaking. And so I said, well I'll just I, I bought four gallons of it and the stuff's not cheap it's like 80 bucks for a gallon but when you look at it you know this tire cost me two hundred dollars to not get fixed so I really wasn't too thrilled about dumping a bunch more money into it so I, I decided to try that and if you got one of these big tires and it's got an o-ring that's just seeping or something like that it actually works really really well and this stuff won't plug up like your um your valve stems either so because you blow enough air in there it'll keep it out and it, it works pretty good um i haven't had trouble with it plugging up a valve stem but you know may, maybe it's maybe you might run into that trouble um I've, I've always, uh, and this is how, like, you just take the valve stem out and you put it in this. I had a, a some stuff before that came in a five gallon bucket that had a pump on it. And you could actually clip it to the valve stem and you didn't have to take it out and you could put it in without pulling the valve stem. Um, but that pump didn't get cleaned out and it was all gummed up. I've, I've actually used the tire jack through that pump before, but it got sealed up last time we used it on a Baylor tire and so... Um, that came with it, but nothing, nothing great. We'll see if we can't lift this down just a hair. I don't want to let it down too much. Kind of want that. <laughs> I don't want to blow the ring off this thing. Not that it would, but you never know. I'm not, I've never messed with them, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to let that air up from there. So, it works great on these tires. Um. You know, if you're in an area where you can get it fixed, great. But I'm just not in an area where I can get these things fixed that doesn't cost me multiples of hundreds of dollars and then then it doesn't get fixed. So even if I had them come back out, they still would have charged me to come back out and I would have been five, $600 at that point. So we just threw this stuff in there and um, everything that I put this tire jack into, uh, you usually run the tread off of it before you ever have to mess with it again. I don't think I would put it in pickup tires. Like I might put it in like a like a little farm truck that doesn't ever go anywhere. 
about side by sides, AT, you know, anything ATVs, something like that. Um, trailer tires, I might be something you could throw it into, like especially on one of these triple axle trailers. You're always getting flats in that that middle tire because it always kicks it up, or the rear tire. It's never the front tire. Um, throw it in there. That might that might be something. But yeah, this stuff works really well. So. If you ever ever thought about trying it out or seeing some of these guys that use it, it it works works very well. And I'm not I mean this is just just something I'm dealing with. Not I'm trying to sell you anything. But these uh, wheel loader tires can be pesky sometimes. So I don't know, give it a try.